Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. So in this one we have the return of Puzzler plus updates to the Fusion Chamber and Super Pulls in Season 10. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to WWE Supercard here. I have to say there's probably zero deck updates as we get started here. Yeah, I don't think anything has changed since last time. Still no female pros. Roman Reigns event is completely done now. They've all been pulled and I never got the Roman Reigns. So no Roman Reigns card for me. Super annoying, kind of dumb in my opinion i think they should have limited it to one per account because there's some people with like six or seven or eight roman reigns cards because they would just like spend all of their money and free time trying to get these roman reigns and i did quite a bit to get the roman reigns as well and i still didn't get it so um I, yeah especially since it was like a pro like you don't need to pro it up i think i think they should have limited it to one account but i don't know maybe they would just rather have the money than uh than even distribution for everybody. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't get it. That's kind of annoying, but I guess it is what it is. I'll forget about it once season 10 starts. <laughs> Another quick update here, guys, is that Puzzler has returned for the special edition card. So not really, honestly, that good because there's a lot of like older cards available in this pack. So even if you get the top pack, you're still probably going to get a pretty old card. But once you get to the very end here, you have a bonus chance to either get the Pantheon, Randy Orton, or Finn Balor. So I guess it might be worth it, but let's, I, I saved my free one here for you guys. So let's do a free one here uh, of Puzzler. Um, this puzzle is actually, it's kind of, like they did one for every, not everyone, but a bunch of the different uh, themed cards from throughout the season. So there's like not really a coherent theme between them. And it's, it's kind of hard, but not the hardest one we've had. Like it, it's not, it's not bad. Once it gets towards the end, you can kind of see the colors kind of mesh up a bit in that last one, which you've probably seen already, but it's not too bad. It could be worse like that. If you guys remember that Brock Lesnar one, was that this season or last season? I think it was early this season. I think it was in the Royal Rumble tier, but there was that like Brock Lesnar one where they were all like super dark. All the, the color schemes of the puzzles were like really dark or like completely black. So you couldn't really see the outline of the shape of the puzzle. So you couldn't really tell what the shape of the puzzle piece was. And it was hard to kind of place after that, if that makes sense. Please tell me I'm not the only one who remembers that because that was, that was the dark ages of puzzling <laughs> earlier this year. Uh, I should be able to get, oh, good. no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. Don't, no need to panic. So this ne next one's kind of funny. Um, I don't know why they chose this superstar, but they have the recently released Dolph Ziggler <laughs> as the poster child for this Road to WrestleMania puzzle here. And I don't know why they would do this because the, it's not like Dolph Ziggler was the only Road to WrestleMania card. There was plenty of them. So they could have easily chosen another superstar, but they decided to just keep it as Dolph Ziggler. Oh God, what is happening? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good even though he was recently released and um they're like oh this is funny we'll put Bro uh, Dolph Ziggler in here which I don't know why they could have even like one of them was Drew McIntyre for example they could have just put Drew McIntyre I don't know I don't know why they chose Dolph Ziggler for that but the last one Robin Reigns here yeah we got some color mixing and stuff in the background so some red and some blue so this is easily the hardest one of this entire thing because you can't really tell where the colors go per se, until you really f start to fill it out. Oh God. Okay, we're good, we're good, I think we're good. Don't get cocky, kid. There we go. Whoa, we're way good, dude. We got like six seconds left over. Okay, let's see if I got a Finn Balor or a Randy Orton here. Let's hope for it. No, but we got Seth Rollins, Octane, which I think I already had that card, and IRS, which I don't have that card, but I don't really care. Oh no, I did have that card at some point. So see, like, even though I got all the way to the sixth one, I got an Octane and a Royal Rumble 23 card, which is like super lame. Like it's towards the bottom of the tiers at this point. So it's a bit disappointing, but I guess it's more for the bonus chance at Randy Orton and Finn Balor. But anyway, that's all that's going on right now, guys. Oh, I got a decent amount of coupons I can use here. For me, personally, while I'm recording this, earlier this morning was daylight savings time. And I don't know, I don't know if Daylight Savings Time is like a worldwide thing. I don't think so. Oh, look at this. 22% gets the gold one, but it's a freaking octane. What a waste of a coupons that was. Um, and then same with this. It's not that good. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's Daylight Savings Time. They don't shift everything with Daylight Savings Time in Supercard. They leave everything at the same time. Anyway, 
So for example, in my time, so the calendar reset time is usually uh, 8 p.m., but it's now shifted to 7 p.m. Yeah, it's shifted to 7 p.m. now. So keep that in mind just for if you're trying to time things or think you have more time to do your tickets than you usually do uh, and things like that. Um, just keep in mind that it's gonna end an hour early, so don't let that sneak up on you. <laughs> um, it's not a huge deal, like I get used to it pretty quickly, but I thought I'd mention it just in case people are unaware. Yeah, so see this, these uh, coupon reset here is going to reset at 7 uh, p.m. tonight instead of the usual 8 p.m. in my time. So it does slightly switch there, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then same with the events and stuff as well. I believe they, I think the events start at the same time. I can't remember what changes. Maybe I'll update you guys in a couple days <laughs> on the next video when I like, when I go through it and I remember when things start changing after daylight savings. Yeah, we're gonna get into Last Man Standing here pretty soon, but I did wanna take a look at a brand new blog for season 10 that WWE Supercard released. All right, so we got a blog here just talking a little bit more about uh, some new features in season 10. So the first one being rarity draft picks and super pulls. So that right here, they're talking about the rarity pull counter. So we talked about this a little while ago when they released the first blog post. So that be basically what that is, is they're going to show a either a bar or like a ticker at the top of your draft board. Every time you pull a card, the ticker goes down a little bit more because that gives you closer and closer to your guaranteed pull. So depending on what tier and what version of like plus plus or plus you're in, there's a certain amount of draft board resets until you're guaranteed to pull another one of your cards. So eventually if you keep pulling cards, you might pull before this time, but if you ha haven't pulled a card by the time that your reset counter goes all the way to zero, you just automatically get a card. So that's a that's a feature that's always been in Supercard. What they're just doing now is they're showing you the countdown instead of just guessing randomly. So they're just gonna have a ticker or a bar or something on the, on the draft board now. And if, as it goes down, you're gonna see how close you are to having guaranteed pulled another card of your tier. The thing I was worried about originally was, is this just gonna show you every time you're gonna pull a card, not necessarily like your le like your your wall that you hit. But they did confirm that you can pull cards randomly before the ticker goes all the way down, but it, it, the ticker's just showing you how many you have to pull to guarantee to get one. So you can kind of more or less map out until you, you get another one sometimes, and then you might get another one before that. So pretty cool feature, I love that. I think it just makes it a little easier uh, just to pay attention. And for those other people who, have like i know there's a lot of people who use like counting apps and every time they reset the draft board they go to the app and and put the counter up one more to see um how close they are to actually getting their next tier pull and now you don't no longer have to do that it'll show you right on the board and it says we're gonna have some cool animations to go along with it your board will start to like glow the closer you get to your uh, your uh, rarity draft pick. So they also talked a little bit more about Super Pole here. So we we talked about Super Pole a little while ago, once again, in that original blog. I was a little skeptical. I really did not understand what they were trying to say with it, but this one gives, this gives a little bit more context and an idea behind it. So basically a Super Pole is a rare event that'll happen just on the draft board randomly. And what'll happen is it'll show you three different cards and then you pick one of the three cards and it's basically at that point like a rarity draft pull. You can either get a card two tiers below you, one tier below you, or a card of your tier. So those are gonna be the three options. And then you're gonna pick one of the random three and then hopefully you get the card of your tier, but you can also get some that are a little bit lower as well. I don't really understand why this is different than, I guess they they're trying to do something extra and something fun on the engaging on the draft board without just giving you uh, a rarity draft pool so there, there it is something separate from a rarity draft pool so i don't think it'll reset your ticker either once you do actually pull it but it will just i guess happen at random there'll be three cards on the board and then you just pick one so that's uh basically how it works there it's nothing too crazy but it is something a little more engaging and something to look forward to if it does happen on your draft board. The next update they've given here is for the fusion chamber. So once again, in their original blog post, and I think for everything that they've put in these blogs, it's going to be from the original blog post. I think they laid everything out there and then they're just like expanding on it in the next couple of weeks, but they're completely changing the fusion chamber. First of all, they're giving it an update look just to go with the rest of the game that they're updating all the look and stuff. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but they've 
completely changed how the chamber is gonna function and the amount and number of chambers you can actually do. So there's only gonna be six chambers now. Instead of a chamber for every tier, there's going to be three rarity chambers, one legacy chamber, and true two promo chambers. So let's go through what each of that means. So there's the rarity chambers, the three. So the three rarity chambers, there's gonna be one chamber for below your tier, one chamber for for your tier and then one cha chamber for above your tier. So basically what you do is you're going to be pulling these tokens off the board so you no longer have to sacrifice cards or sacrifice the last fusion cards. But basically you pull these tokens off the board and there's gonna be bronze tokens, silver tokens and gold tokens. So basically you use the bronze tokens and redeem it in the rarity chamber for below you. You can use the silver tokens to re redeem the rarity of your same rarity. And then the gold tokens can be used for a fusion above your rarity. So those are the three like main ones that you're gonna be using to try and get the fusion cards you actually wanna use as part of your deck. So that's kind of nice now that you don't need to like build all the way up and spend weeks going through the entire chamber process from the beginning all the way to the card that you wanna get. And then by the time you get that card, you might not even need it anymore. That's usually what happens to me is like I always did the fusions as soon as they come up but they just take so long that by the and they added so late that by the time I actually can use them they're not really worth it to me anymore so you can get these tokens a couple different ways like from the draft board from packs from all the places you expect like normal uh, but there are going to be their own separate collectible now fusion tokens so uh, you'll be able to get them uh, off the draft board for example and, and from other packs so that's pretty cool I do like that a lot better like I said and you don't need to hoard fusion cards anymore because like you don't need them to advance to the next one you know what I mean so right now I have a bunch of fusion cards from like I think Royal Rumble 23 up. I have a bunch scattered throughout because I'm saving them because to do the next fusion chamber when I have the opportunity to. And now you no longer have to do that. You, if you don't, if you got a fusion card you don't want or, or something, you can get rid of it right away. So you don't need to hold on to them anymore. So I like this system a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot quicker. It's a lot more hopefully useful once it does, is it actually implemented? Um, but I'm looking forward to that part of the chamber there. So there's a couple other chambers here, which are, are kind of what they sound like. So we got the legacy chamber. So basically any of the chambers that aren't in your rarity chamber so the one right below you the one of your tier and the one above will be in legacy chamber so you can do the bottom tier chambers if you still want to get that or you can also get some legacy card chamber legacy cards from that as well so there's going to be another uh, the other token is going to be called the collection token which same deal as the other ones you pull off the draft board get from packs and things like that and that collection token you redeem for the legacy chamber and then the legacy chamber you can choose which tier you want to actually redeem within the legacy chamber but they are going to cost different amounts based on their tier so though i assume the higher tiers or maybe even the legacy ones might be more because those are a little bit more coveted um but you can get the the legacy chambers through there but it's just going to cost you a different amount depending on the tier and then the last one up here is the promo chamber so that one is works very similar to how it's going to work right now with the promos that come in for example we have the most recent halloween one you get ingredients off the board you put it into the chamber and then you can redeem them for cards in this case they're scrapping the ingredients for treasure tokens or they're going to like name them based on the event but the overall name for them is called treasure tokens and then once again you don't need to sacrifice cards anymore it's just about tokens you're just putting tokens in so you won't need to the hoard up or save a bunch of cards to be able to use in the fusion chamber especially for the holiday events and stuff which usually use a lot of tokens or sorry a lot of points from a lot of really high uh superstar cards there so this is a lot nicer now you just need the tokens uh probably a decent amount more tokens than we're used to probably because we're not sacrificing superstars anymore but this is a lot more of a streamlined method that uh, you don't need to go back and pro and save other cards and figure out how many points and stuff. This is just a lot more simple, straightforward, more rewarding. I like this better. They're totally nailed the fusion chamber here. We'll see what it looks like when it does actually come out. But for the time being, uh, those are the updates on the fusion chamber. Let me know what you think of this update. So they're going for the tokens route rather than having the points from uh, previous cards and previous superstars. I personally am a big fan of it. So I'm going to be happy to get rid of all these fusion cards that have been sitting in my deck forever. And then I'll be hopefully be able to get some fusion cards that'll be useful to my deck once the uh, brand new season 10 comes around the only the really only thing i'm worried about about this fusion chamber is how it's going to work when you're the top tier since the gold tokens can't really go towards the higher tier i guess with the new player level up system that won't happen as often just because you're not going to start in the top tier right away but you can still probably get there pretty quickly if they're going to re still release one tier at a time 
uh, you can get into the next tier pretty quickly there and then your gold tokens won't really be needed. I guess it's more saving up for if you're falling behind or something, I don't know, if you want to get a, a new card right away. And it also depends, are they going to be waiting this long to release these fusions as well? Because if they're waiting till like the end of the tier to release the fusions as they usually have done, then really by then most people should be in, in the top tier. So it doesn't really make sense to use any of the gold tokens, even though they're most likely going to be the most rare ones. But anyway, we'll see what happens there. I'm, I'm excited to see this new fusion chamber. All right, and a fresh coat of paint. So they're just talking about how they're going to be updating the look and feel of Supercard. I'm super excited for this. They gave a little preview, as you can see down here, uh, and we can kind of take a look at how it's going to look in the next game. They're just basically saying they're going to modernize the look a little bit more and, and bring in uh, some, some nicer viewpoints. So if we take a look here, the bottom kind of looks the same with those tiles as you, you scroll through the tiles, but it's the top area that's a little bit cooler here. So it looks like the event is going to be taking up the entire screen or whatever the main focus is at the very top there. And it's going to be like expanding out to the entire screen. And then you just have your little menu up at the top here. I really like this look to it. I think it looks a lot cleaner. I'm not sure if I like the blue. There's I think there's too much blue. And what, what I like what they did in season nine is they brought like the colors of your tier as the background, whether that's going to be the case this time around anymore it doesn't really look like it but this could just be an early model or maybe that they didn't want to reveal any information about the next tier or anything like that so that's why it's just like a generic blue i'm hoping they update the colors for every tier again because that's like one of the coolest things they did in season nine and it really it makes things feel different when you advance to a new tier. It makes it a little more exciting. But anyway, a very cool look there. I like the expanded look. I feel like they had a look like this, like really early on. I think like season four or season five, they had this like full screen for the event type look. You know what I mean? When they had like the different scrolling menus and the like blocky look to it, they had like one page always for like the event that was like this. I, I can't remember exactly what season that was or what it looked like. But if any of you remember, uh, just let me know. Another interesting thing at the bottom here is it says 220 25 for the for the deck limit i wouldn't worry too much about that because right now it says he's in level four so if he's in level four for like riptide four five four two five means that he would be so wrestlemania 39 would be level one wrestlemania 39 plus would be level two wrestlemania 39 plus plus is level three and then What's after WrestleMania 39? Myth. So, so he's in Myth right now, which is the second highest tier in season 10. And then remember, they do the progressing card limits now. They introduce that in season nine. So if you're in a lower tier, your card limit is capped a little lower. And then as you continuously go on, the the cap is is raised a little bit more. So that's why it says 225 there, I believe. And in the next. I, I wouldn't be too worried about that. I doubt they're going to bring him down because a lot of people will be upset about that. But uh, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind there. And here's a quick look at the fusion chamber. So you can see we're in the legacy chamber right now. So you scroll through uh, the top right. You have the two triangles, which I assume are the promo chambers, the square one, which is the legacy, and then the three circles, which are the rarity. So you can see at the bottom here, we have a couple rarity or legacy cards here that you can use in the fusion chamber. So you, as you can see, you just use these collectibles, put them into the chamber, and then you can get some uh, legacy chamber or legacy cards out of that and then it'll be the same for the different rarities and the promos so pretty straightforward there as you can see it doesn't cost too many for some of the legacy cards but i assume as you get higher they start to cost a decent amount so uh, i'd be a bit weary of that of how much they're gonna actually cost but it does look pretty cool here a nice clean look and um, i'm really happy with this fusion chamber uh situation here and then last up here they're they're kind of showing off the deck editor a little bit more and i like it a lot better so first of all they've added this alternate view which has less cards per screen but it's like a shrunken down of the actual card it's not it's no longer like the little mini preview it's like a shrunken down of the actual card and they also announced that any pro animation or motion with the card will be seeable from this uh, view as well. So as you're scrolling through, you can see the pro animation of like, especially animated cards and stuff like moving. That'll be super awesome. If you always wanted to, you can flip back to the classic view to really get a condensed view and see everything at the same time. But if you want a more aesthetic and uh, like more easier to see type view as well and wanted to see those pro animations, you can leave it at this one, which I'm probably gonna leave at this one. And maybe if I'm really trying to like figure something out, I'll go to the classic view. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because it's gonna look super cool. I really like this view a lot better. You can see your cards a lot better. The artwork, it's like 
they spend so much time and effort on this art and these pro animations and things like that it, i think it's really worth it to show them off and and keep them out there all the time and and so you can kind of see them at all times and you go let's see at the deck the deck editor at the bottom here it looks like they put a couple different options down here now to go along with deck editor so it seems like the fusion chambers in the deck area and stuff like that so it seems like anything that's like oh it's probably crafting is going to be here as well they talked about crafting so it seems like they're really grouping everything a little bit more so the play area is just for like game modes and stuff you're not not going to find fusion chamber um and uh and other things like that in there um and then in the deck editor area or the cards areas where you'll find the fusion chamber probably crafting and a couple other things so i think that makes a lot more sense there uh, a lot better review and and i'm all about this update updated design right now and then last but not least they talked about the player avatars so here's a little uh preview at some of the player avatars you can have i like this one that says sounds like a skill issue at the bottom there <laughs> But basically, they're just adding some more ways you can have as uh, as your champ, as your uh, as your player avatar there. And as they said it's going to be very similar to get them uh, compared to like attitudes, card backs, things like that. So you can probably get them out of packs, out of the daily calendar, um, probably the superstore, and then maybe spending some credits as well. I don't know if I'm going to use these as much as the superstar ones. If there's some really cool ones i might just swap them in and out but i think for now i'm gonna stick with the champ boost also if you see in the very background here i don't know if this is just a placeholder or if it's actually part of it this is the actual ladder support so it seems like maybe you can even use support cards as your avatar now which i'm not 100 confirming that it could just be an error in the background there or a little easter egg i choose to believe it's an easter egg so i think in the season 10 you'll be able to use support as your champion now so maybe like some of the managers paul Heyman stuff like that or maybe you can have like a, a road case as your champion and things like that so that's a pretty cool feature a little extra thing they've added and uh, i think they can be really creative and do some pretty cool things here even some superstar specific ones like uh that, that is like their catchphrase or like their logo and things like that instead of either these silly things or just a picture of the superstar's face so i think this is another plus nothing really like game changing or everything but just once again more variety and more uh ability to customize on our end all right and that is all for the updates on that blog there's a lot to go through there let me know what you guys think of the brand new fusion chamber the updated design the draft picks changes the super bowls all these new things let me know what you think of it in the comments but we're not done yet we got last man standing for carlito here i don't mind my rank right now I'm about 2600 but i have a decent amount of reveals and blocks to use here so i can get through probably a couple of these that'll really bring my tier, uh my uh rank up um i just wanted to save them here to do at least one on camera with you guys here let's go hit me with all the obstacles right away this is awesome maybe i can get a high point high point on this high point round is what i'm trying to say there we go oh seamus got a tag there Sitting at 341 million to speed, which that's going away, guys. We're getting a stat squish now. So the stats going way down. So this is going to be the last time for a long time we're going to see 361 million uh, speed there. <laughs> Big victory for the women there. Let's keep it going. Okay, can I get this last obstacle, please? I would very much like to use my reveal on my block so i can get a lot of points but uh this last man standing has actually been pretty good i feel like there's a lot of people that are either skipping this event or um they're just not spending credits because the new season is coming up very soon and these cards are not going to be that worth it so i don't think it really makes sense to spend a lot of credits right now a lot of people are probably saving them up for the next season and realizing that any money they really spend at this point is not really going to be that great of a return Oh, Jimmy and Jay Uso not tagging <laughs> since Jay was cha changed to a blue arrow. Um, him and Jimmy no longer tag up there. Can you throw this laps last obstacle at me, please? Come on, dude. I'm going to get like no points. I thought I was going to get a lot of points and now I'm going to get no points. Boo hoo. Oh, come on, dude. Ah. Let's keep it going here. No, once again, not hitting the obstacle. Holy crap, dude. Okay, we're good. Uh, 
let me bank those. Okay, hit me with something. Oh my god, man, seriously. <laughs> like, there's five obstacles on here. Can I not just hit one of them? Yeah, okay, this round is, is screwed. I'm gonna get barely any points on this round, of course. Of course, right? Of course. Like, really, this is a joke. This is some type of joke, eh? It's like, gave me two obstacles right off the bat, and then it's like, huh, now we're gonna play a little prank on you. You're not gonna hit any more obstacles. Ah, maybe I'll get through this whole thing without hitting another obstacle again. <laughs> like, really? 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 You think this is funny? Is this some type of sick joke? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if I'll hit one more. There we go. So I'll save a reveal at least. Or a block, I mean. But we'll use the reveal. Unless there's like six cards left here. Waste. Waste of a round. Anyway, it is what it is. I mean... As long as we're getting through this, you know, you know what I'm saying? I have so many reveals. They're so easy to get. They, I feel like that you get them off the board a lot easier. Plus, there's ways like I just did right now to actually save them and uh, not use them as much of the reveals. But now I have way too many. It seems like things are going pretty well. Got a couple more cards here. I'm worried about Indy, but now the boost got her. I think we're good. Yeah. Good job, Indy. All right. And our last card here. The we'll live. And that is a victory, guy. Oh. Okay, well, no, it's not, because she got a tag. But good thing I had the block there. <laughs> the block kind of saved me there. So good thing I uh, pulled another uh, pulled another thing there. You know? Pulled another obstacle. Oh my god, I can't speak. All right, guys. And that's all that's going on in Supercard right now. Let me know what you think of... All these new changes coming to season 10, the super pull, the fusion chamber, the facelift, the avatars, all these new things. I'm sure we're gonna get another blog post because we're getting pretty close. We're about a week and a half away actually from season 10, so it's coming up pretty close. We're gonna have probably two more more blog posts, I believe, and I'll bring those to the channel as soon as they do drop, so make sure to stay tuned. But let me know what you think of all these changes coming up. Let me know how you're doing on Last Man Standing and if you're going to get that Carlito card. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy the subscribe button right underneath me. Here's some more videos on the right, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.